Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I am here today with set number 6321, Curved Road Plates from Lego Town. This was from 1997, includes two base plates with road designs on them, they're both curved, and this originally retailed for about $6 in the United States. Now, by nowadays standards, uh, curved road plates are usually provided in a different color, usually with another type of road plate, and for a different price. But it's different time, different, you know, prices, different way of manufacturing these, so it's a little hard to compare to nowadays. Now, these are 32 by 32 base plates. You get two of them that are in each package. They are in simple packaging that we still get with base plates up to 2015, not like the 2015 ones, the ones before that with the cling wrap and the printing of a little piece of paper on one side. Now, these are actually well made. Um, they are smooth across the road area. There are no studs on it, so you can easily drive your cars through there or whatever you wanna accessorize on the base plate. It works well. Um, even on the back, you can see how flat it is, so it makes it easy to put onto a flat surface. The curved sections do line up with each other for making accurate roads. You can see how the lines can line up here. Maybe a little hard to see since I'm on a different area and don't have an entirely flat area behind me to work with, but they do line up and they make great use for uh, any LEGO city, except most of the time, when I've used these, I didn't have a whole bunch of them. I usually just had the two curved tracks. So it was very limited on what I could do with just the two pieces in trying to make a Lego city. I usually didn't have a city that was big enough to hold two curved tracks either, which also made it a little bit difficult. It's definitely something that's good as an add-on, but on its own, it doesn't actually do too much. You're only going to make half of a circle or a slight curve in the road, just with the two base plates on their own. But if you have more of these in your collection, because they've been around for a long time, um, then it's a great add-on. And even even the ones we have nowadays, they're usually in a gray color. These would be nice if you wanted to have more of a rural area around your town. You already have the greenery um, on the base plate, so it makes it a lot easier to make a more scenic area instead of one that's more urban. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my LEGO reviews on my channel. We have a few playlists of different reviews. We've done other town and city sets and even other base plate reviews. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.